bow line. Pretty damn easy to tie this one. All you need to do is get your end of your rope in your main line. Now this is the end, that's the main line. Whack a loop. That's the rabbit hole. Right, rabbit goes through the loop, round the tree, back through the hole. Just like that. That's your bow line. Pretty simple. Pros and cons. Handles a heavy load, really easy to undo after being on a heavy load. You just pull it out through there. Disadvantages is that it can shake itself loose if it's not under strain. So if it's shaking and shaking, it can come loose. You want a tail about that long when you're finished your knot. So no matter what knot you're tying, that slack bit of rope out of the end wants to be at least the length of your fingers hang loose. That way it's not going to slip through the knot and come undone. Okay, on to greener pastures. Double bow line on a bite to be used as a harness. Now a bite of rope is just a loop of rope, so <coughs> if I talk about bite of rope or bites of rope, I'm just talking about a big loop in a rope. Alright, now to measure this harness, if you're tying the harness for yourself, you want it from wrist to wrist before you tie the knot. If it's for someone else, just measure it up for them to go on their wrist. So I'm going to go wrist to wrist, that's how big I want my bite. Right now, this end of the bite is where I'm going to put the loop. So I'll make that loop. That's the hole for the rabbit to go through. And then it's really easy. You just tie that exactly the same as you did for a single bowline or bow line. Uh, this loop here, though, is to go around your waist. So instead of pulling it all the way through, you put that loop through there. So you now have three loops. One, two, three. See that? Easy peasy. All right. This first loop, I'm just going to dress the knot and tidy it up a bit. Now this first loop here goes around your waist. And then you put one leg through each of the other loops. One leg through there. One leg through there. Pull up like that. Pull this loop up around your waist. And there you go. You have a makeshift harness for lowering your mate down the steep cliff or you yourself can lower yourself down a cliff. Uh, you can also use this as a chest harness. I'll just take that off there. And you can put that around there. And then have one arm going through there. One arm going through there. And uh, you can lower yourself down the cliff. You've got to keep your elbows down for this one. <laughs> if you put your elbows up, <laughs> it, uh, chances are it's going to pull back over your head. But it's pretty good chest harness you can even make a double harness make one of these on the chest one of those on your waist click them together and you've got a pretty foolproof system for lowering an unconscious victim down the cliff or pulling them back up really good for high angle rescue